Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back in again. Welcome to a new New Arrivals. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it with Milo hosting the show. Um, I just got back from holiday, so I'm really energized and I'm really happy to see that the guitars didn't stop while I was away. So what we got here is a Collings OM2H with German spruce top, beautiful East Indian rosewood, uh, back and sides, mahogany neck, as always, top notch Collings quality and this beautiful edge burst here. It's, uh, it looks amazing. <laughs> Awesome guitar, really balanced sounds, and now it's time for some vintage. Look what we got in. It's a D18, no, it's joking. It's a D21 from 1967. Beautiful Brazilian rosewood back and sides, a spruce top, rosewood fingerboard, rosewood bridge. Uh, the 21 is looks a lot like the 28 um, in overall, but the, the appointments are slightly different. So the appointments look a lot like an 18, um, which is cool. As always, we made videos of all the guitars as well. Here is his big brother then, so I can sh show you the differences as well. D28, 1967, D21, 1967. Do you see the difference? Like bindings versus the white bindings, the purfling is different, uh, the rosette is different, and the, uh, this one has the, the 28 has the um, ebony fretboard and ebony bridge. So which one do you like more, the 28 or the 21? So, and the next one, it's not as old, it's a brand new. This is a Kevin Ryan Nightingale with awesome uh, Berglos Sitka Spruce top and Tasmanian Blackwood back and side. So these are the sets that we handpicked uh, back when we were there in uh, January, when we were still allowed to travel. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome guitar, very nice appointment, so the Abalone, um, doesn't only go around the top but also around the fretboard, around the headstock and it's built so nicely and it sounds even better. So what I really like about this guitar is the, the flutes that they have on the bevel. Um, so with the tiny sound holes here and the big sound hole here, you almost get that hi-fi stereo kind of feel when you play this guitar. So it's brilliantly made when you play a lot at home and you just want to have a good projection for yourself as well and not only a projection that projects away from you. It's really cool. And the last one here, 1958, Rudy's year. Rudy's here, 1958 ES350T, uh, beautiful condition, really nice, um, really nice shape all over, all original and uh, just an awesome guitar. If you have the chance, check out the recording of this one, it will blow your mind. So that was it for this week, I really hope you enjoyed the video again, um, if you like these kind of videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and um, I hope to see you next week again. Thank you very much for watching, bye bye, hiya. Yo.
certain little lady goes by. Thank you.